Hello everyone, this is Dire Weasel DM. I wanted to go over the basics of how to create a class. Here you can see I've got all of their features laid out. This is the Ranger. See all the Ranger things that I'll be going through right here. This is not for 1 D&D, this is for standard 5e, but with Tasha's in mind. So I want to make a Ranger that specifically pulls all the new things from Tasha's, which vastly improved the class. So here we're gonna go. We're going to start things off. Grab feet items. I'm gonna type in features. We're gonna go to one, and then I'm gonna drag in their new abilities, Depth Explorer and Favored Foe, as opposed to Favored Enemy and Natural Explorer. And then we're gonna keep doing this for basically every other level here. Go to two to pull in spell casting. Well, not all of them. Spellcasting, spellcasting focus, primeval awareness. No, and not primeval awareness, primal awareness. Again, primal awareness being the one from Tasha's, whereas primeval is something else. So what we're gonna do is keep going. We've got spellcasting, we've got our ranger. All right, we've got level two, all that's good. Next, we're gonna go into number three here, which is going to include our martial archetype. Now this martial archetype is actually going to be part of the subclass that we'll develop later, but I'm putting it here for record keeping. And we're going to go into four, for martial versatility from Tasha's, five for extra attack, alright, six, now at level six, we're going to be doing the Deft Explorer Improvement, and not a favored enemy in natural. So Deft Explorer, but not favored enemy in natural. And go forward, seven, yeah. All right, now we're gonna do our Ranger Archetype again. Again, that will be filled out through the subclass more fully. And we're gonna go to eight. Stride. Luckily with Tasha, all the things it overwrote were on the same level. We're going to go to 10. We're going to have Deft Explorer. Natural Explorer is um, Player's Handbook. Nature's Veil. That inside of there. And that goes, um, goes over height and plain sight. So we're going to have Deft Explorer and remember, Deft Explorer and Nature's Veil. And this one is as well. So you can see that all by down at level 10. I'm going to move on to level 11 now. Ranger archetype. Now we're getting higher up, so we're going to go up to 14. And again, this is the vanish as opposed to favored enemy. Let's say we're not doing favorite enemy, Vanish is still in the player's handbook. Then we're going to do level 15. Which will be our Ranger archetype again. Two more Feral Senses. Alright, there we go. And then finally, level 20 for Foe Slayer. There we go. Got Flow Sl Slayer in there, and that's it. That's all it takes. To create a class, it's actually pretty straightforward. You just simply drag and drop, add the features in. Now, with some things, for example, with our new Tasha's, we have our Favored Foe. Now, Favored Foe, if we open that up, it starts off at a die four, goes to die six at um, six, and then die eight at 14. So we can actually fix that in here by doing a scale value. Now we're gonna have nothing at first. We're gonna go down to dice, nothing all the way down until the appropriate level. Pull this over here so we can take a look at it. So we're gonna be um, at level one. We have one die four, Whoop, one, and then we do die four. 
And then at level six, we have a die six. And at level 14, we have a die eight. So now we can do that inside of there and go favored bow. Notice it puts an identifier inside of there. This will make it so we can just simply pull this calculation in and it's automatically calculated for us. So if we have this right here, you can see it, it has like a number for a proficiency per long rest, but you can also have it do, this is an additional damage. So you can say, as part of this, we can add in a damage formula here. And this is just going to be, we'll say none. And then what we can do here is at scales dot ranger dot favored oh there you go and now when this is rolled it will automatically pull off of this list here which is automatically updated as it goes along so that's the main gist here. We've got it all inside of here. We've got the details for a half caster with wisdom and die 10. I don't think there's anything else we really need to be working on at the moment. Nothing else that scales. We do need to add in the fighting style, but I will do that in um, later. That's where you have to be very careful. Make sure you've got all of your features laid out ahead of time so that way you can pop them in. Okay. That's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this. And this was how to create a class. Next time will be subclasses. This is the Dire Weasel DM.